Amen, amen. Hi, Bob. It's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you. Um, God has got so many good things for us. God has got so, so many good things for us. He is bringing in such powerful people into this ministry. I look around the room and, and I see healing ministries. I see prophetic ministries. I see healing ministries through uh, to men and to women. I see uh, the, the healing of emotions over here. You know, it's just, I can't, I, the love that God has brought into the room. I mean, just just the power that He has got here. And, and I've said it all along that the Father has said, I have hand-picked it and I've, I've selected these people as the foundation of Beit Ahava. Beit Ahava meaning the house of love. Because without love, we are nothing. We can have tongues of angels. We can give everything we got to the poor. But if we don't have love, we have nothing. He says if we do everything motivated out of love, then our plans will succeed. Thank you. And He is love. He is love. And so we, 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 uh, we, we just humble ourselves before Him in love. Um, before we get started with the teaching tonight, um, I'm just going to do a quick... Uh, um, today is the f- uh, 14th day of the Omer. How many people have been counting the Omer? I've been counting the Omer. Why is it important to count the Omer? There's something really good waiting at 50 days. That's right. That's right. There is something very good waiting at the end of the of, of the, of the day. day. When, when the Israelites came out of Egypt, Mitzrayim, the tight, narrow, confining, restricting space, um, God said, after Passover, after Pesach, after Passover, after Pesach, start counting. Um, the first, at, the first day after would be a Shabbat, and so they started counting. Fifty days later, they received the Torah, His instructions. There was fire on the mountain. When Messiah um, was crucified, and and he was and, and he was our Passover lamb, he paid it all. Then they put him in the ground. That was the unleavened bread. Then he rose. That was the first fruits. Then they started counting. They, it was 40 days after he was crucified that he arose and ascended into heaven. It wasn't just a coincidence that the Talmudian, the disciples, knew that. It was because they were counting the omer, because they were expecting something good. Ten days later, they're in the upper room waiting. The Messiah said, wait, I've got something for you. I'm going to give you a comforter. All of a sudden, there was fire in that room. We're on day 14. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You be have an expectant heart because the fire is coming. The good is coming. The, 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 the fire that uh, is going to empower us to move forward. God has said, I've hand-selected each person in this room to move forward. So we are on day 14. In, in the, uh, each Hebrew uh, letter has a picture to it. On day 14... Can I, Get a pen. Don't go grab my pens, friend. <laughs> um, day fourteen. That is the Hebrew letter. Anybody? Samach. Okay. The, the Hebrew um, language is a picture language, and and so the picture of a samach is is a is a support or a prop. Now we've been reading, and, and, and has anybody ever found it interesting that in Psalms 119 that there's actually pictures of Hebrew letters next to the verses? Mm-hmm. Why do you think those are in there? I mean, is it just like somebody just thought, hey, we'll just stick these in there for that's a good idea? But why there and not anywhere else in the Bible? Well, because God's trying to show us things. So if, if somebody, w- or if we would turn in our Bibles, to Tephilim Psalms 119 and we will, we will look for that little Samach and we'll find it right next to verse 113 It's a mech that supports prop. If somebody would read, please. At 
113? At 113 to 120. Okay. <clears throat> I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be safe, and I shall observe your statutes continually. You reject all those who stray from your statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Amen. When we read this, uh, we see how God supports and upholds those who lean completely, completely on him. Not double-minded people. In verse 113, it says, I hate double-minded people. That's pretty strong. It, it, in, in the word it says, you know, that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways and he can expect to receive nothing. Right. The best way to understand double-mindedness is uh, in the Hebrew mindset is, and I've told some of the people here before, if we get into the car and we would drive towards New York City and we would get, uh, I see a sign that says New York City 30 miles and I say, you know what, let's go to the Los Angeles. And we turn around and we start driving to Los Angeles. We see a sign that says Los Angeles, 113 miles. I say, you know what, let's go to San Antonio. Let me drive to San Antonio. We would never get where we're going. And that's the same thing with, with us. When God tells us something and we're on a journey and we're going and it doesn't manifest or it seems like a journey will never end, and we say, you know what, I think I'm going to change my vision and I'm going to change what God, that's double-minded. We, we keep fluctuating, we keep... Um, Vacillating. I like that word vacillating. Go ahead, Dennis. Say the word again. Who said is that a word? And, and that's good because ask my wife. I, got, I have my own language. He really does. I say, honey, that's not a word he'll say. Oh, I say it is. <laughs> if you understand it, it's a word, right? Yeah. Um, you said that semeth means prop, um, prop yeah. yep. support, and to twist sl slowly, right? Yep. And then verse 117, it says, hold me up. Mm. Support That's your me. support. Hold me up. Hold me up. In, in, in the uh, complete Jewish, it says, support me and I'll be saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting that all of this um, coincides with where we're at in counting the Omer. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to, as we, because remember, when we were at the Pesach Seder, it was supposed to be as if we were actually in Mitzrayim, actually in Egypt, and we were supposed to experience it. And so God delivered us from bondage as we came through the door. And then, now we're walking, we're climbing this ladder, if you will, to holiness. And remember on Friday we learned about holiness, kadosh, to, to be stripped away from all the stuff. And so as we're climbing, God is calling us to, to lean on him, that he is our support. And so, uh, uh, and we're supposed, and, and thank you, Daydream, for reading. In 113, it says, I love your, she said law, but in the Hebrew, there is actually no word for law. It's Torah, Torah. Mm -hmm. and the Torah is a, is a teaching, it's an instruction. And it's a teaching done in love, and it's an instruction done in love. God is not sitting in heaven with a two-by-four just going, all right, he's waiting for us to mess up, you know, because he's just waiting. Oh, come on, you know. So he lovingly gives us his word. This is his love letter to us. So we count the omer because God says to count the omer. Why did God say to count the omer? Who cares why he said it? He said do it, we, we need to do it. And, the, and But he's got good things in store for those who love him and don't lean on their own understanding. Mm -hmm. So... That, any questions about the uh, about counting the Omer, about where we're at in the Omer? Um, today is uh, Hag uh, Sameach, uh, the uh, the new moon, the first day of the new moon. So that's important as well. God said, "I'll give you these as signs in the heavenlies." We started a teaching uh, a few weeks back on words and how important words are, and. Uh, and I was studying uh, the, 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 uh, the word, and I was praying to the Father, and I said, oh, Father, 
Show me, show me, because I sit at the, the feet of, of Messiah and, and, and I learn from him. And anything I bring, it's because the Father has shown me. So as I'm sitting at the feet of Messiah, my dear brother Theo comes to my mind. And so I text him, I said, Theo, do you still have that lesson on uh, the words? He says, sure do. And I, and I was thinking, he can send it to me and I can try to read it and understand it and learn it. And, and bring it forth, but he does such a wonderful job, why should I? <laughs> <laughs> so with all that said, this is uh, Theo Jackson. He is a, 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 I love him with all of my heart. He's, he's a great guy, I just love that guy. Um, so the floor is all yours, brother. Likewise. Uh, I just want to say, uh, first of all, to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Mandatory. And uh, I thank him for the opportunity to, to uh, stand before the congregation and to bring his word. And my goal is to uh, do it in such a way that you leave here changed. Amen. Uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Yeshua. And uh, so I thank you, General. The Lord has instructed me to call uh, John General because he is indeed a, a leader in the army of God. And uh, uh, I'm just pleased and honored that he... He received that word, and I'm glad that he was obedient and is allowing me a chance to stand before you today. Amen. So, uh, so, the words. Well, you say, now how is this guy qualified to do any of this and say any of this? Well, I'm not. But it is to the grace and to the glory of Yah that he can take a Detroit public school student who was pretty good at spelling and writing and uh, show him this next level of spelling and writing and the importance of words. First of all, we know that in the book of John, John chapter 1, we're told that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Now that word, uh, for many of us who have come to the Hebraic understanding, we've come to also know that one of the keys to unlocking higher understanding of God is in understanding the words that God originally gave to man. We're, uh, most of us are familiar with the uh, stories that we've heard of how things got twisted around and how there are certain translations that are more accurate than others. Well, uh, a study of Hebrew helps us gain understanding of that. But also, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. A study of the very language which we speak, the language that we've all learned so much about from the time we were little toddlers, also will help you overstand certain things about higher concepts. And so I'm going to uh, allow for the Lord to show you some of those things uh, through me, uh, if that be his will. So let's begin with some basics. We know about the power of the tongue. There's power of life and death in the tongue. Amen. So therefore, the words that we speak, you can speak life, you can speak death over yourself and over others. So now we need to be like a, a, a gun owner who, who has to take a class before they receive the CCW. You, you wield a powerful weapon in your tongue. But many people do not learn exactly how to use that weapon properly. And we grow up saying things to ourselves and to others. Uh, I had a bad toothache, and I happened to say in, in, in front of a minister, a friend of mine, uh, man, this tooth is killing me. Mm. And he rebuked me because he said, you know, you just spoke death unto yourself. And we do things like that all of the time, and we don't think that it's much of a big deal. However, Scripture will tell us otherwise. There are many Scriptures that tell us otherwise. Um, Proverbs uh, speaks about it many times, Proverbs 18 and 21, Proverbs 12 and 18, uh, Proverbs 26 and 28, Proverbs 13 and 3. Slow down. Please. 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 That actually okay. right. Okay. 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 Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm short of him. Okay. 18, 22, 12 okay. and 18, and what came after that? 12, 12 and 18, 26 and 28, 13 and 3. We've also got uh, Proverbs 18 and 20. We've got James mm -hmm. chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 12, verses 34, 36, and 37. 
And you know, the, the list goes on and on. We'll, we'll come back to some of that. But why Proverbs has so much mention of words in the tongue, I think is a good place to begin. Let's look at some things. And now these are things that, some, some of these things I was taught um, in my former studies of the occult. The occult has a greater grasp of the power of words than most believers do. There is a concept in the occult called magic words, or verbs of power, or, or, or uh, what, what we would call magic words like abracadabra and different things that you hear when you're a child. Uh, the occult operates off of using words to operate the spirit world, to make the spirit world move. They believe that that is so. Unfortunately, it is true. And believers just don't understand how true that it is. The words that you say set the spirit world in motion. And in the Hebrew, um, what he just said with the A word, it end, begins in A and ends in A. The Hebrews actually believe that if you say that there's a curse of death upon you, then uh, you will, you know, so. Absolutely. Uh, well, we, 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 you know, we know no, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every time they rise against us shall be condemned. And the Lord understands that, you know, in order to teach certain things, you know, we're, there's no fear here. You know, fear is not of God. And those things are null and void. They have no power over us. And we do all of this in Jesus' name. I speak the blood of Jesus over us all, protection over us all in Jesus' name. Okay? But now we're going to look at some things because the Bible also tells us, be not ignorant in a small matter nor great. It also tells us that our people perish for lack of knowledge. That's a bad thing to perish because of. <laughs> Especially in a day and time when so much knowledge and information is available to mankind. When I was uh, young and I wanted to learn about different things, you know, the, the secrets of the universe, I had to find all sorts of books and, and sit in all kinds of meetings and, and meet up with all kinds of people, travel from different cities to others. Nowadays, you can pull a pocket computer out of your pocket and dial up something and then 20 seconds, you can learn something that's been hidden for thousands of years. We are in a new time. Mm -hmm. uh, it is written, uh, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter and the glory of kings to reveal it. So it's part of your royal heritage to be able to reveal the things that the enemy has hidden from us for too long. It also says, be not ignorant uh, of the devices of the devil. It also says, have, uh, take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. How can you expose something that you've not had any exposure to? So let's go forward. First of all, I like this one. And again, some of these things I learned through, through the, that former time of my life were nothing that we do is a mistake. Even when we think we're doing something for one purpose, the most high has a way of, of teaching us. He says, I am he that will teach you in the way that I shall choose. And he says, I am he that will judge thee by thy reins and thy heart. My reins and my heart was different than my sister's reins and her heart. She did not have the desire to learn some, some of the things that I did. And it, to God be the glory for that. Amen. But um, let's look at a couple of words. And some of these things I also learned through studying a very important thing that all warriors and the army of God should know something about, and that is Satan's secret societies. The secret societies are by and large the enemy. When I first came to this community, I noticed that something that the media does, uh, you have the left wing media, CNN and, and different uh, uh, aspects of, of news coverage that takes a democratic slant, blue, Interesting. Then you have the right-wing media, where they take uh, more of a Republican slant, red. Interesting. Sounds like Crips and Bloods to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but we're talking about oh. two wings on the same demonic bird. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And they divide people. Yeah. And they wow. divide people. Right. So one thing that I noticed that when I when I came to this community was <clears throat> the right-wing <clears throat> philosophy that a particular people who are deceived, let me say that, like a lot of Christians are deceived, like some Jewish people are deceived, like many black people are deceived, 
the Arabic community, the Middle Eastern community, what we would call Islam, has been pointed out as the enemy, which is a diversionary tactic in warfare. If I'm going to plant a bomb over here, and I don't want you to know that this is the source of the artillery that's firing at you, I will point you in this direction. And that's part of what's been done with Islam. Uh, who, by, by the way, which is uh, actually derives from one of Abraham's sons. Mm -hmm. okay. But I notice in the right-wing communities, there's more of a push. Obama's a Muslim. And Obama is no more a Muslim than I am. And I'm not a Muslim. Obama is a Luciferian. He belongs to an <coughs> ancient secret society. There are, there are ancient secret societies who hold certain knowledge of the symbols that we use that we comprise words out of. Interesting, when you're in school as a little one, they teach you the knowledge of how to put together symbols to create words that you use to set spirits in action, that you use to call your sister or brother a name, that you use to answer your mother or receive praise from your grandmother and grandfather. We have no idea why they call it what they call it, but they don't call it the science of wording. You don't get an A in wording. You don't get an A in lettering, unless maybe you're taking an art class. You don't get an A in symboling, because these are really symbols. And as General John pointed out, they are actually pictures. And in most ancient languages, uh, uh, from uh, Egypt, uh, uh, Greece, Rome, you will find that they have numeric value. So they're numbers, too. But we don't call it numbering, symboling, lettering, or wording. They call it spelling. And when you're young, you're taught how to spell. That is because the people who are behind putting these words together belong to these same Luciferian orders, the same secret society. So when you see people point out things like, oh, on the dollar bill, there's a symbol with the eye, you know? There, you know, every conspiracy theory, just because something is a theory, does not mean it's not true. Einstein has the theory of relativity. Everyone accepts that as true. So uh, uh, know that that's a slander uh, that's used to try to keep us from wanting to look into a thing. You should be very cautious of anyone who advises against you looking into a thing. Yeah. I invite you all to look up anything that you see me say or present on this board, look it up. Because I have enough faith in the God in you that despite the fact that there's right things and wrong things on the internet, I have enough faith in the God in you that you will be guided to find just what you need to find. Mm -hmm. So don't let nobody tell you when they're explaining something new to you, don't look it up. They're a, they're a liar. <coughs> Pants on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's look at this. This this was one. This is one that I get a kick out of because, of course, it's Bible based, but it's so simple. This goes back to the spell of spelling. Proverbs. Right now, some of you see it already. You're pro life or pro-choice. Some of the brothers is pro-black, black power. Pro means you're for. Even in the word itself, you find, because a P and F have the same origin. If you notice, they're actually the same symbol, just without that part there, without the hump. Okay? And you also find in the Bible, in the old, the old English, because in, uh, any study of language, you'll find the old, even in Hebrew, you'll find the ancient Hebrew, you'll find middle and modern. You find the same thing in English. Find the ancient or the old English. And I'm not, I'm not talking about malt liquor. <laughs> then you'll find the modern English, and then, you know, the middle English. But you'll find in the old English of King James, you'll find this word, forward. What does that mean? You know, it, 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 you know uh, I think one of the scriptures is, uh, if you're forward with the Lord, he will be forward with you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, forward is like a, a, you may have heard on some of the older TV shows or maybe in, the, in an old movie, and the man is being fresh with a woman or whatever, you, you're being too forward. It's the same thing. Because again, we're looking at a combination of words. A, um, we're looking at equations when you're looking at words. Because again, they were numbers and they were pictures. They equal out to something. The syllables that divide words up and, and um, are, are, are used to comprise the longer words especially, and hopefully we'll look at a couple of those that are really interesting. You can really learn a lot when you break the syllables down and look at the origins of the words. So in pro and fro means to be for something. For word is the same as pro word, right? Okay, all right, that's established. Okay, so, so fro and pro and for are all the same thing. Now verbs, this is interesting, especially for those that study the Hebraic. Because I had the question, and I asked it one time in, in Shul, why are we saying Yahweh when the Tetragrammaton, or the four letters that produce the name of God, is Yo, hey, vov, hey, and vov is v. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's let's look at a couple of things. And I know, well, you know, the rabbis say you shouldn't say it, and well, we're going to look at some things, and then we're going to go back to that. Okay, let's look at some things. It won't hurt to look. Trust me, it won't. So, can I interrupt? Yes, sir. Um, rabbis say that, but we always go back to the word and the book of Jeremiah says my people are led into captivity because they don't know my name mm -hmm. so the, the rabbis will say it but the word of God says that we're supposed to know his Amen. name and call him by name call so Amen. it was another ploy for the adversary to, to sure. get us not to use not the name of, of, name. Amen. Amen. of Yahweh well said Job okay so proverbs well what is verbs well that means an action word well, but if I say one form of communication is verbal, then there's nonverbal. I'm saying one form of communication is with words and one without. So verbs mean words, period. Let's prove it. Okay, first of all, you have W, uh, excuse me, you have B. Okay, you have in your letter system in English, and we have Daniel Webster and uh, Noah Webster to thank for that. Uh, when I was a, a, a youngster, they had a book that they made mandatory reading in Detroit public schools. It was the Dan it was the Devil and Daniel Webster, where Daniel uh, Webster was such a wordsmith and orator that he was used to defend a man who had sold his soul to the devil. And Daniel Webster's wordplay was so great that he you know, successfully defended this man. Okay, but uh, down the line, he had a cousin, they say that it, it was his cousin, Noah Webster, who comprised the modern day definitionary, what's that? We, we call it a dictionary, because the power in magic words, which is what they were putting together, is in how you say it. Diction is how you say something. But most of us look in the dictionary to find the definition, which is the meaning of something, to define it. So, so therein, we find some, somebody's playing some games here. Okay, Spelling. They call it the spell of spelling. And when you write it in a fluid manner and collect, connect the letters together and make it look pretty, it's called cursive. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Some people are just starting to get it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so now. I know, that was a wild moment. You better wait a minute. I think we need to recover on that. Yes, sir. Are you saying that the Webster's um, actually were part of this Illuminati Precisely. Wow. Precisely. Uh, when, when you when you become a, a, a member of the Illuminati, they 
And I mean when you're lightweight jamming, 32 degrees and, 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 and whatnot, a lot of our uncles and grandparents and whatnot were 32 degrees and below. Maybe we need to jump Amen. here Amen. real fast. Right. A lot of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we really need to rebuke those demons, yes. okay, yeah. because the sins of the father, yes. you revisit to the son and to the third, fourth, fifth yeah. generation. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but once you cross, see, okay, let's look at let's look at something else. We're gonna come back to this, okay? <laughs> because I see now, now we're now we're warming up, okay? Yes, yes, Sister Vanessa. Um, for those of us who might not know exactly what Illuminati is, yes, could you certainly, certainly, uh, Illuminati is the blanket term that is used for the secret societies. And when we say secret societies, I'm talking from the baby bear, boy scout, what? and girl scout, <laughs> up to. Oh, start checking it out. We need a recovery to, moment. Okay. <laughs> Clear. Okay. You need to be resuscitated. <laughs> really? Clear. Okay. <laughs> you just cursed at the girl scout. <laughs> Hey, I love their Look cookies. Where okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Look now, now, now again, I mean, really again, forward. now my grandfather, who was <laughs> a, a part of these things, Take that out of uh, uh, people joined them unknowingly. <laughs> that's yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, totally no one interested. is told. That's why you go up in that's degrees. Crazy. And let me tell you, you have to pay for your degrees. That's okay. Right. Yeah. No one is told when they first walk in the door. Oh yeah, we worship Lucifer. Have a seat. Right. Get some coffee. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You must rise up in degrees. Now, just like uh, the Major League Baseball teams have a farm league, mm -hmm. okay, the secret societies have a similar thing too. They draw from most people who are Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, and they take their little Boy Scout and Girl Scout oath. Mm -hmm. Okay, when they get in college, they will likely become members of the Alphas or the Kappas. Fraternities or the Zetas fraternities. and the Betas. Yeah, yeah. And then when they leave college, they are likely to become a member of the Red Lodge or the Blue Lodge. Mm -hmm. Red Lodge and Blue Lodge, Red States and Blue States, Red Gang and Blue Gang, mm -hmm. Red Peel and Blue Peel, if any of you saw The Matrix. But, and Yes. Does any of that tie into the Masons, the Masonic? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Can, I mean, I thought. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're <laughs> So, like, when people, like, little kids and, and the parents take a little kid to the Cub Scouts or the Brownies and stuff, yeah. it's all it's it, it's all innocence because yeah. they don't like know. Right. But you're saying that the the guys that are way up in the ranks of the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, they know what's going on. They would right. have to. Yes, right. They would have to. Yeah, it has been so, revealed to them that the driving force of the Illuminati is Lucifer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Very well yeah. said. Yeah. Now, this is where you get the, the pyramid scheme from, where somebody's at the top. And when people talk about the uh, Illuminati, they will often point to the symbol of the pyramid. Right. Because in order for the pyramid to hold up the top level where the all seeing eye, of Lucifer is <gasps> that you find on the back of your dollar bill. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's on the back of your dollar bill. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. But in order for, you know, you before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to go back to the words too. But but this is just to, to uh, the general's point and to what I know a lot of people are also thinking about, well, Daniel and Noah Webster would have been, had to have been complicit on some level in order to do what they did with spelling. And I'm going to show you some words that will uh, make that very plain to you. That there's no way somebody wasn't designing words in such a manner as to trick you and I. From the time we little ones. And, okay? and before we go any further, remember our teaching on, on Shabbat that uh, to be holy, that God is, is involved in this world, but he's not affected by this world. Mm -hmm. And he says, I am holy, therefore you be holy. So even though we are in this world and we do our daily jobs and stuff, we are not to be affected by what, what's going on in this world, including the Illuminati. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, now, some people have an issue with this teaching. And the reason why many churches don't deal with this, and many ministries 
don't deal with this. There, there, there are some that do, and trust me, they are quickly um, taken to task, okay? But b because the powers that be don't want this out there, okay? But a lot of people are fearful once this is shown to them how close this is to you. We were riding past a place, uh, I believe it's a uh, reform school for boys called Abraxas. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know for a fact Abraxas, uh, letter for letter, that is the name of a demon mm -hmm. from out of the grimoires. Mm -hmm. So after I passed it a few times, mm -hmm. I thought to myself, well, maybe that was just a person's name. You know, I knew better. But even I do. You don't want to believe that this is so close to you. Mm -hmm. So we rolled by it close enough for me to look at the sign. And I said, well, Lord, if there's something to this, you'll show me. Because, again, Jesus said you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right. Yeah. Make you free. The truth not supposed to make you scared. If it does, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Living in a lie is comfortable. Believing that the devil is way over there or the devil is only in the mosques or the Muslims, that's comfortable. When you realize that every time you go down Lexington Ave, you have a building right there full of people who are directly under the Luciferian spell, maybe that's a building that the believer should be praying exactly. toward that building. Exactly. Okay? But, um, so, uh, but, but yes, like the general says, we live in the world, not of the world. Amen. Okay, so these, th you know, it, you know, we're warriors. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. That's right. Amen. This should not make you fearful. That's right. It should make you glad that the Lord has allowed for the scales to be off of your eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, and that you will be able to see the enemy in his most subtle devices. You'll run from anything if it. If it oh. I'm the devil. <laughs> He'll never do that. <laughs> Genesis says he was again. more subtle. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> Genesis says he was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field. That's right. Jesus said, "Be wise as serpents and gentle as doves." Some of us as wise as doves and gentle as serpents. <laughs> Have mercy. So. Yes, these are all things that we can we can handle it because yes. it's coming out now. Yes. You know, my my uh, baby sister she teaches uh, music uh, at at my old alma mater high school, uh, Mumford High School in Detroit, the one that uh, Eddie Murphy walked around with a uh, 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 Beverly Hills Cop with the Mumford T-shirt on. That's the school I went to, and my sister teaches there. She teaches music. She plays nothing but gospel music. She's a, a died in the wool believer. Uh, I'm so thankful because for a minute Eminem had her ear and she was going that way. But um, did you know Eddie Murphy? No, no, <laughs> didn't know, didn't know Eddie Murphy. But I knew Eminem. Okay, and and some of these things too that I, I learned from my dealings in the music business, which is deeply saturated yeah. in the Illuminati. Yeah. Deeply, deeply. Okay, and that's what really drove me to the Lord. You know, that, that's for another day. But, yes, it did. Please believe it. But, uh, so, so, but, but my sister had me speak to the class. Uh, and, you know, I said, well, sis, you know, I don't want to cross the line now. So, you know, you let me know. She said, well, if they ask you about the Illuminati, <laughs> then you can say something. Okay? I was in there to talk about the power of music and how it influences the body and influences the mind. Blah, blah, blah. That was fair game. But when we got into the, the I mean, because you, once you go here, we're going to talk about God and the devil. Mm -hmm. So that's not allowed in school. So my sister told me that. I said, okay, cool. I didn't get two classes in before one of them kids was like, when are you going to say something about the Illuminati? <laughs> okay? So, it, so out of the mouths of babes. Okay? So that means it's time now. It's time. Okay? All right, so let's fast forward. So yes, so uh, the Websters would have had to have known what they were doing, okay? The uh, Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, uh, the Den Mothers, they don't, they don't know what's going on, of course, okay? But we're talking about levels and degrees. Mm -hmm. Some of the Masons that you know in your family, they don't know what's going on. Don't you dare bring this to them and think that you're not going to receive the strongman spirit of denial. Mm -hmm. 
which is an Egyptian spirit. That's why it's called denial. Mm -hmm. It's a spirit wow. from the Nile. Mm -hmm. Of the Nile, like De La Hoya or De La Soul of the Soul. Mm -hmm. Denial, of the Nile. But that spirit of denial, that pride spirit, and, and if you walk into a Masonic Lodge, you will see many Egyptian uh, 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 gods and themes all around. Even the all seeing eye is an Egyptian theme. <laughs> the, what they call the uchat, the, the eye that you would see uh, oftentimes in the hieroglyphics. Also the root of the evil eye. The scripture tells us that uh, he who hasteneth to be rich hath an evil eye. That's Great. Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Great. That's right. Mm -hmm. but, but even if you look back at the uh, roots of evil eye, they're talking specifically about a spell. Mm -hmm. You have a spell. Spelling. The spell, the 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 uh, masons are under a spell, mm -hmm. so so it's hard to get one to tell you. First of all, their lives are threatened. They're threatened if they better not say that to you about nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then secondly, they're kept below by their degrees. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two degrees and below, your blue lodge, mm -hmm. your frozen blue, thirty-two and below, mm -hmm. thirty-two, like magic was number thirty-two and below, mm -hmm. thirty-three and up. Like bird, we got the magic bird dynamic, which is another big deal in the Illuminati. The magic bird, the phoenix, they believe that there will be a rising again of the rule of Lucifer rising again, uh, a mockery of Yeshua rising again. Are you referring to the basketball player? Oh! <laughs> That's what I thought. I was ready to say, are you talking about Larry Bird and... Uh, magic Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were part of the Illuminati? Absolutely. They were mem They were high-ranking members, and that's one one way you I'm get rings. <laughs> she said I'm still a Girl Scout. <laughs> 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 okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move forward because this this is this is a, a teaching that generally it may take an hour and a half, two hours to get through everything that people will want to know. So I'm just gonna we're gonna step on the gas a little bit here. Or and we can we can have you come back next time, if you will. So I, mean, I would love to. Would anybody like him to come oh, back? Yeah. Second, Absolutely. Second <laughs> <laughs> Is that, yeah, I want to know if you've done this on CD or something. I mean, have you tracked it? He so. I'm, on, I'm on YouTube. Okay. You can, you I can see all your teachings on YouTube. I can, I can give you the whole history of the Illuminati. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, really good. Good. Do you but yes. I, I, saw, I was watching the high school All American football game last year, and then. They had kids when they they come off the field and they would sign with a college and one family when they took their family picture they all covered one eye. <gasps> wow. Wow. Now, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. And that's getting very popular with young kids. In fact, I came home from a jail volleyball wow. tournament three weekends ago with a young black gal from St. Mary and she was talking. She said, "Rich, what do you know about Illuminati?" This girl's oh an eighth gosh. grader, mm. and she was talking to me about, do you know that that's what they're doing when, when they're covering their eye? And I thought right away when Jordan Johnson said that to me about the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And she was talking about the music, and I asked her, and she goes to St. Mary, and I said, do they talk about, she's all the time, about these pop stars and she even talked about why some of these kids have fallen from sure. Christian background into Miley Cyrus. You know, yeah. Yeah. And where she went. And yeah. she was yeah. like, yeah. And Absolutely. the young kids are the, seeing it. The desire to be rich, you, you know, you know, if, if uh, we can just close with this, because I think this is important, too, that uh, this is overstood. And we say, sometimes I'll say overstand, because understand to stand under something and try to discern what it is is not as uh, wise as to stand over it and see what it is. And that's another one of those words, okay? Uh, wisdom is wise dome, knowledge is know the ledge. Some of the, the, these were words that were given to us by men who were designing certain things. God is dog backwards, evil is lived backwards, uh, a devil is lived backwards. There is a, a law of reversal that uh, Satanist Jews to hide things and hide meanings. Okay, so there, but there's a whole teaching on that in uh, on uh, YouTube uh, under the uh, the 
spelling spell, the curse of cursive. So, it, so if you want to see more on that, that's on there. But just real quick. You gotta give me your name then. Yes, yes. So un, 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 unplug them. Uh, you might want to write it. Okay. Unplug them. Yep. Yeah. He wrote it down. Write it. Mm -hmm. um, the <laughs> desire to be rich. <laughs> that's that's how this exactly. Wow. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's right there. That's yes. Right. People say dog. Yeah, people say yo, you see that on TV dog. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yo, dog. Hey, dog. Mm -hmm. right. Yo, exactly. dog. Exactly, exactly. And that but but see, some of the gang guys, oh. the gangs go up high too. And some of the gang guys, um, especially where I lived in Detroit, where you had different gangs than you would find in, in LA, you had the Midwest gangs whose gang symbols were very occult. And I recognized them as occult symbols. And I would say where did these guys learn this stuff that you've got to read certain books to even know this stuff? When they're taken to jail, sometimes they're taken just so that they can be taught these things and then sent back into the community mm -hmm. to spread demonic graffiti around the neighborhood. I, just, I think I've mentioned this once before, but... Um, when I minister at the Richmond County Jail, um, I'd make it no secret whatsoever that I'm Messianic. And um, one of the girls, and I don't remember exactly the reason why, but I drew a Star of David on the white, because I have a whiteboard that I can use. And one of the girls, she looked at it and she said, oh, she said, some of the COs have that tattooed on their arm. And I said, they do? She said, yeah, except it has a circle around Absolutely. it. I said, that's pentagram. not a Star of David. That's, that's right. a pentagram. I said, and that's a Satan worshiper. Absolutely. I said, and you all, up, up in, you need to be praying against that. Absolutely. I said, because that's evil, Absolutely. looking you right in the face. Wow. So, so now how do you yeah. get someone to worship <laughs> Lucifer in today's society? Just like what Brother Rich was saying, the young kids are seeing it all of the time. Their okay. favorite rappers, yes. their favorite ball players. Yes. LeBron James has, has made it no secret that he's down with the all seeing eye and, and the pyramid when he they does like this. this. They've been doing that in the Super Bowl. Yes, absolutely. Uh, even the movie Any Given Sunday, in the end scene of, of, of that movie, the, uh, the team that Jamie Foxx and them are playing against, their symbol is the all seeing eye. But this was a nod to the fact that even in sports, you find this. Wherever there's a lot of fame to be had, you know, they don't mind you getting money so much. I know some criminals in Detroit who have a lot of money. I mean, big money, but they don't have fame. Right. Fame is the issue. Fame is dangerous. Fame is you can say something at any given time that will influence yes. thousands of people, millions. So when people are given fame, I'm talking about religious folks, athletes, entertainers, politicians. When they are going to have fame, and the Bible tells us that the devil is the prince of this world. He's called the god of this age. He's called the prince of the power of the air. That's Ephesians right. 2 and 2. That's right. And that, me that means the airwaves. So people that are on the airwaves, people that have a prominence in front of you, that get the album covers, the magazine covers, the Grammys, the stellar awards. Mm -hmm. These are the people that you need to be looking at sideways because there's no way that in the devil's system you can receive that sort of platform and not get his nod, not get his okay mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. in order to get those all-seeing eyes in your pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it takes. So we have to be cautious not to desire. Proverbs says, don't let me be so rich where I'll forget you, mm -hmm. yes. but not so poor where I'll steal. Yes. Very few of us pray that prayer. Yes. To be rich means somebody's going to kiss up to you. You're going to get free this and free that. You're going to go places that people will look up to you, worship you like a god. star, a god. That's why you see the star symbolism so often. That's why we call entertainers star. and celebrities stars. <laughs> it's star worship. Look at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. With the All stars the on it, absolutely. Wow. So we want to be cautious of, about those things. You know, as, as Theo uh, teaches, the Father is saying, this is a briefing. This is, he's the commander-in-chief. Mm. 
We are all in the army of God. Right. We are to take this community for the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. Lord. But in yes. order to take the community, we've got to know who our enemy is and how he's operating. Right. And unless you know who your enemy is, you can't fight your enemy. Oh, that's right. And so the Father is revealing things to us, even through this, that we, because that's why this stronghold has been over this city for so long. Yes. Because we've been deceived and we've been lied to. We've, we've hit our eyes right. and we don't want to know truth. I remember when I first met the Lord, I would be like, oh, Father, why'd you show me that? Now i got to change. <laughs> Sometimes you are like that. Oh, yeah, because I, agree. I, I, I used to hang around with all my old friends because I didn't know anybody right. believers. And they would say, why aren't you partying with me? And I said, well, i got to find a job. i got to pass the P test. Then I would go home and I'd read the word. And he said, if you're ashamed of me in front of your friends, I'll be ashamed of you in front of my father. Mm. So I thought, oh, man, now i got to tell him. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And so I tell him, and, and they left. And that was okay because the father had better plans for me. Right. And he had to remove some of the chaff from my life and get rid of it to be holy. And so as, as Theo teaches us, I know that it, it surprises some people. Um, it challenges mm -hmm. uh, other people. Amen. But God is, is revealing these things Beautiful. because the time is short. Yes. And, and there is a harvest out here. And, and, and we, we can do it. The, the definition of insanity is continuing to do the same things over and, and over expecting and, and expecting different results. We have to we have to fight on a spiritual level. Yes. The weapons are not carnal, but they're mighty through God for pulling down strongholds. Absolutely. And so the Father is equipping us to be able to come in and clear the, the playing field and clear the land so that his spirit can come in and touch lives right. because this is about people. This is about human lives that mm -hmm. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. People that are dying and going to hell yes. because they're believing lives. Yes. That's right. And so we have to be equipped. Right. So that's what the Father is showing me as, as, we, as we're receiving this teaching. Very well. Um, I say I would like for you to come mm -hmm. back if, if yes. you would like to come back. Dang. Continue to finish the teaching um, with us. And, and that was one thing that the Father has shown me, and I've told you guys each individually that the Father has shown me that I've told you this is not the John show, that we all have gifts. I want teachings on healings. I want different teachings coming in because I know that, that I, I told before we started this class, I said I could have had him send me his link and I could have sat there and tried to write notes and everything, but <laughs> I wouldn't have presented it like Theo presented it. And so I am thankful for the gift of God that he has sent to us. Amen. I, I uh, am thankful that he has loved us enough to reveal truth to us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard to accept truth and to see truth, but once we do, that we will become stronger for his kingdom. Mm -hmm. So with all that said, I, I would like to pray. But as of before, I, I would like to pray. Um, and is there anything else? I, I don't want to cut you short. Well, uh, uh, well maybe just the W real real fast sure, because we sure. touched on the word of God and I think right. for some people that may be the most important thing that we can learn today. Okay, okay. the name of, of, of Yah. Okay. Awesome. okay. Can I say something about your name? <laughs> Just one little thing about your name? Yes ma'am. Unplug them. Mm -hmm. Yes ma'am. Every diamond that's in the rough mm -hmm. are gems. Yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Unplug mm -hmm. the gems. Yes ma'am. <laughs> Loosen. Through thy truth. Through thy truth, they shall be. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. When we were kids, they taught us how to write on that big green paper you was writing the letters on, right? <laughs> right, right, right. You, you made a W. Uh -huh. What did you do? You made a one V. And then another V. And you made another V. Uh -huh. But it's called a W. Uh -huh. Okay. When I took French, we called this double V. V mean V. Mm -hmm. Dubla right. mean double. Dubla V. Mm -hmm. Double V. Yeah. In Spanish, it directly tra translates to double V. There's a trick here. A double U. Okay? Now, so when we see the tetragrammaton, or the four letters that comprise the holy name, Y-H-V-H, Jehovah Witnesses don't have it all right. No man-made religion does. Amen. But something that they have right is the end part. Because they say, now why, we know uh, 
uh, our Latin speaking, uh, our, our Spanish speaking brothers and, and, and sisters, the Latins, they'll say uh, Jess instead of yes. The J and the Y have the same root origin. Of course, we know Y is ancient and J came later on. All right? But you've got Ja. The Jamaican brothers, Bob Marley and them, they say Ja. Ja? Same way we say Ya. Okay? Which is biblical to call him Ya. Okay? And then, of course, we have from the Jehovah Witnesses the end of Jehovah being Va. Okay? So now, had we had more time, I, I could have proven that the, you know, by the will of the Most High, the oldest vowel is A. That's why it's the first. Okay? But we'll come back to that next time. But just take my word for now. So we know that A is the proper vowel. Okay? We know that J is really Y. Okay? We understand the H is the H. So that's Yah. We got that. They connect the two with O, like Barack Obama means lightning from heaven. O is a, yeah, like, like Isaiah said, he saw lightning falling from heaven. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama. But the, the O is a connecting uh, sound. Okay, so to connect the Ya and the Va, they put an O in the middle. It's not needed, okay, but it's to connect the two words. Mm -hmm. All right, then you have Va. As in Jehovah. So why are we saying Yahweh when it's A instead of E and it's V instead of W? Just proved it that it was. Mm -hmm. Now, there are congregations of, 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 of Jewish people who say Yahweh mm -hmm. as opposed to Yahweh. The more popular and publicized way is Yahweh. But again, I can prove that there was A, not E. Mm -hmm. E even makes an A sound, a variation. Mm -hmm. When you look at the original word for English, or England, England, what, what was it called? Ang land. Later it became Ing land. A is older. Okay? But so that's just a note. But I've got a, I, I did a little video on that too. But that's just for those who wanted to get some more clarity on that, on that issue. The double U came later, like J came later. So if we won't use J because it came later, why are we using W? And it came later too. But now, this, this is what I learned from my grandma, who said Jesus, okay? And... I came in the house one day with my African beads on and my Air Jesus sandals. I said, Grandma, I said, we're from Africa. She said, I ain't from no Africa, I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> she called Jesus until the day she died, and I bet you he came. <laughs> my name is Theodore. I, I've never heard my mother say it. She calls me Ted. My granny calls me Teddy. Some of my friends call me T. The people I made music with call me Jack or Jackknife. And people from my YouTube channel call me Unplugger. Right. If you say any of those things, I know you're talking to me. Well, I bet you the Messiah does too. So we have to understand too, sometimes when we've been so heavily bound with no earthly good. Ooh, and yeah. you can be a respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. Because I've learned this. If you don't say it the way I've learned, you know, love is not that way, yeah. according to Corinthians. Amen. Amen. So that's, that's that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God be glory. Thank you. Thank you all. In Jesus' name. Yeah, I said that I had a couple of testimonies. You want to share them? And, and as, before you share them, um, I am going to pass a plate for...